Hello everyone, this is Bobby and welcome back to some more the story of Red Cloud. How are you guys doing? Welcome back. Let's get back into it. Um, <laughs> that was quite the intro. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I really wanted to go to Solaire. You know, I've checked out a few things in between the episodes and he sells a bladed glove, which I think he sold for quite some time now, but it can't be upgraded for a thousand souls. So, you know what? Let's do that. So we can upgrade the bladed gloves to the Forgotten Kaiser Knuckles. I don't know. Let's see how good they are. I mean, 22 melee damage and insanely fast speed. That can only be good, right? And it's a material too, but uh, that is for like hard mode or even later. I don't know. Like 80,000 souls. That sounds like a lot of souls. And a guardian soul. Sounds very mysterious. Anyway, uh, let's check out the Kaiser Knuckles though. Um, yep, that's insane. I kind of want to try it out. Let's try it out against the Eye of Cthulhu here. Hello? I mean, quite frankly, the Star Cloak will kill the Eye of Cthulhu here. Because, um, Star Cloak is way too powerful. I don't know why I have it, but I have it. I mean, it's kind of similar to the Dragon Lance. Dragon Lance does a little bit less damage. But therefore, we have some better range. Anyway, I just wanted to goof around for a little bit. So I have accomplished that. <laughs> so now let's actually continue over here. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere over here. Here. How do I get there? Really? There's no bonfire near? All right. Oh, yeah, we have Halloween demon eyes now. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, that explains. So anyway, here we are. Frog. Uh, let's go down here. See what's up. I love my darkness debuff and one minute of um, poison. Lovely. I have a feeling that this is just a little side cave, you know. A little something to have here. Nothing crazy. Wait, I hear a bonfire. There it is. Beautiful. So I will check out this mushroom thing over here first. Because I think going down is the way forward. Home of the Dryad. Ensure that all who enter my home have a pure spirit of good intentions. You will be greeted with gifts and kindness. Come with bad intentions and you will not leave this place the same. Welcome traveler. Step lightly and give thanks to this wondrous earth. Vibrant with the life of all our relatives. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever you say. You look wary, Traveler. You have been fighting hard to defend our mother, haven't you? Well, take this. It is a spirit guide that will travel with you always, lighting your way in times of despair. Take also this, the Staff of Regrowth. Take it and heal this world of the sickness that has corrupted this land. Both of these gifts may be found in the chest by my bed upstairs. Gotcha. Thank you. Very cool. Um, okay, the fairy bell. Sure. Uh, what do I do with the Staff of Regrowth? Is it important? I mean, I take it. Uh, Lifeform Analyzer, sure. And the Angler Tackle. Why not? I guess some Restoration Potions. Um, anything in the dresser? No. So I take the Life Crystal and I'll be on my way. Except that there is something down here. Do I need my diving gear? No. The stone gate must open from the other side. Alright. And we need a temple key for this. Alright. And now we head down. Right? Yeah. Or not. This door opens from the other side. Well, okay, we didn't get far. But at least we can tick off this area over here for now. Anyway, now I would say let's check out this crimson area. Spooky crimson area. Let's go. Oh. I see stuff up here. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so we did already fight the uh, Brain of Confusion, so... The Brain of Confusion? No, the Brain of Cthulhu. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, what, what is this about? Maybe a custom Crimson Boss incoming or something? Uh, hold up. Is there gonna be like a similar situation then with the um, Eater of Worlds, where there's like two of them? It's just crimson armor, and it's not a material, and a bloody spine. Okay, I'm a little bit confused now because we already fought the Brain of Cthulhu. So why would I want to do this again? Or is this just to get some 
crimson related items. Anyway, what's here? Oh, it's just a life crystal. Alright. And what's here to the left? A chest. Uh, regeneration potion, panic necklace, and titan potion. Panic necklace is kind of cool, actually. Should I break these? I mean, don't really want to fight the brain of confusion. That's a Cthulhu! Jesus! I'm not doing this on purpose, I swear. Alright, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess since they're already here, there's way too many guys here. Get out of here. Alright, here we go. Boom. Yeah, this is bad. Not a whole lot of space here to fight a brain. I mean, I can dodge roll. Wait, that's not dodge roll. I already forgot again. <laughs> Maybe I should rebind my dodge. Oh god. That's fine. Okay, I mean, sure, I did another brain of confusion. C Cthulhu. I don't know, man. I mean, I got a rotted fork. Yeah, I will just leave the rest here and I uh, will quickly teleport back because, of course, my inventory is already full again. Hey, we got a bloody tear, though. That's nice. So, yeah, let's just move on from this and uh, see what's up here. Oh, man. Oh, no, go away. Nobody likes you. You have no friends, just get out. Maybe I should use some of my life gems here. I did craft a lot of them because I had a lot of healing potions. And since I can't use healing potions anyway, um, might as well craft them life gems. <sighs> I don't really want to do the jungle just because the jungle sucks. But, and why are you guys still here? Okay, fish, piranha statues. Watch your steps. Wait, I don't have flippers on? Oh yeah, those come with the diving gear. Hmm, maybe I should actually equip them. Um, Fennifall potion. Lots of gold. Why? Gold bow, iron skin, healing potions, gold, and silver bars. There might be secrets down there somewhere. But I shall just move on for now. Hop! Alright. Ah, uh, stone wall. Can I get a lever to open this? I mean, I take the bonfire. I feel like this is just a way back up. No? Yes. Alright, I mean, I cannot go the other way anyway because, uh, stone wall. Yeah, just go this way. That's a lot of storage. Fish! Can I do anything with that? Make another life gem? I mean, sure. Alright, basically, I got one life gem from that. Nice. Funny vines! Let's go! I mean, they're halfway funny. They're not quite there yet. Uh, volcano time! Oh, God! I don't think I read this already, so here we go. Legend spoke of the great god Obsidian, who battled Hermes for a thousand years on this mountain, when the earth was still hot with eruptions of molten lava. Great powers lie within the blistering veins that have burrowed deep below the surface of this volcano. It is said that to attain such powers, one must take a piece of Obsidian's body into oneself and then sacrifice their mortal flesh to Obsidian by leaping into the lava below. If Obsidian favors you, he will spare your life. If he does not, you will boil alive while the gods laugh from other worlds. That's cute. Don't tell me there's Obsidian skin potion in there. Well, did I have any for that? Um, well, I guess doesn't look like it. <laughs> You've discovered Obsidian's Volcano. Take only one from this chest. Oh, okay. Upon each journey into the unknown below. What if I jump over? Yeah, I am that crazy. <laughs> no, actually, let's go in. Whatever. Whee! <laughs> look at this goober. Should use my spear. That would be smart. Probably also my diving gear. Yeah, look at me being smart. Hell yeah. Well, going up here was not that smart, but you know. Uh, wait, can I break in here? I mean, it's one block wide. Alright. Meteor hat. I don't like that. Get up! A warlock is near. Should I be worried about that? 
Anyway, mana regeneration, regeneration, chest arrows, archery, mana, and another obsidian skin potion. That'll be useful. Um, archery and some fallen stars, sure. Why not? Oh, yeah. Now I see all the meteorite. I don't know why I didn't see that before. It's a little annoying. I hear bonfire. Hell yeah. Let's go! You slowly start to feel much lighter. Like the pull of gravity is different down here below the volcano. You think you could almost walk on the ceilings if you jumped with enough lift. Try pressing the up key as if you had the gravity potion active. To become fully in tune with the unique gravitational forces within this sacred area beneath the volcano. Uh, okay. Yo, katana? Hmm. Yeah, ice blade's better. There's just... Ooh, face saber. Cool. Ah, uh, is it just the material for the, uh... Face... Blade? Wait, no. Oh yeah, this is a face blade. It can be made into the face saber then. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a titan glove. Sure. I will get this. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I can actually just... Push up. Nice. I mean, it says right here I have the gravitational alignment. Very cool. And I appreciate that they removed this stupid upside down um, gravitation effect from the vanilla game. Thank you very much for that. Oh yeah. Still don't have a shadow key. I mean, do I have to do this upside down? No. Do I? No. <laughs> do I? <laughs> anyway. Uh, great at healing potions. Sticky bombs. Magic power. Regeneration, just the arrows. Okay, let's break in here. Regeneration, bullets, yada yada yada. I don't need that. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that, homie? Yeah, I love the Oh my god. Ah no, this is not good. What are these wraith-like enemies? They are so hard to see. And I've broken armor. Okay, let's just uh Descent quicker here. Probably have to go to the bottom of this anyway. Ooh, not a bonfire. I'll take that. Very generous with these bonfires. Okay, here we go. Unarmored Wraith. Ooh, uh. Yeah, okay. No knockback. That's great. All right. <laughs> I love that. All right, I will... I think the way forward is through here, but I will have a look around very quick. See what's... Well... A spirit appears and whispers into your ear. A hidden entrance to the underground jungle ruins lies this way, to the left. Deep inside these ruins, above the three golden shrines, you will find an escape back to the surface. <laughs> Should I leave this in? That sounded kind of cringe. I mean, I don't want to go just yet. I don't know what I want. Do I want to continue this volcano thing, or do you want to go in the jungle? Quite honestly, I don't know. God. Leave me alone. All right, here we go. Healing pots, arrows, 50 diamonds. Okay. Also, full inventory, so be right back. All right, got that taken care of. Now, do I actually want to go up there? I mean, let's at least check it out. Let's see where it goes, right? There's like never a linear path anywhere. I kind of love it and also kind of hate it. <laughs> nah, it's a good thing. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, a lever. Oh, it just opens up this here. You've discovered the secret entrance to the underground jungle. A moment after pulling the lever, you hear the ground faintly rumble to the west. So, I guess we've opened up the, the stone wall that was in the way. Like this wall here. In the chest we got a meter hammock. Alright. It's pretty good. And climbing claws. Gotcha. Oh, what's up here? This gate must only open from the other side. Uh, feels kind of not a right what I'm doing here, but here's what it is. Also, more potions. Man, can you guys already go away? I mean, I know I've complained enough about you, but I don't know, maybe not. No, no, can't stop. Another light crystal and... Okay, another bonfire. And a crap load of enemies. Alright, uh, bonfire first. Now the chest. Alright, just some ammunition. Jungle time! 
Okay. Abandon. Abandon jungle time. These guys are crazy. No, 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 don't do it. Don't. No, I said no. And if I... No! Jesus. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't get very far, but uh, let's try that again. What the heck is this? Curse build. Oh, curse build up. Oh, no. When the counter reaches 100, something bad happens. Also, I still have broken armor. That explains why this is really crazy around here. I mean, I could take some buffs, but... Uh-huh. Alright. Mysterious. You've discovered the underground jungle ruins. And like a million places to go again. Oh god, nope. Okay, let's just go. Oh no, don't- maybe- maybe just going is not a good idea. Okay, well, I'm committed now. I will think about my actions a little bit later. Wait, Ancient Alchemist? 370 souls? Okay. I think we've stepped into an area with some new enemies. That's not a new enemy. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is bad. I'm a little bit terrified. Not gonna lie. Why is there spiders? Why is there crazy alchemist dudes? Ow! Those were spikes. Alright, chest. Give me chest. Mana potion. Healing potion. Regeneration. Diamond rope. And throwing knives. Alright. And a life crystal. That one was very sneaky. Yo. Oh, wait. For some reason, I thought that was a Sun Fury. Ah, Flaming Maze. Oh, well. No, 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 please. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Stop. You guys are insane. Go away. I can't even have a good look at this guy. Now I have a good look at him. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's kind of fancy. No, please. Just... Can we talk about this? Oh my god. I mean, I do get a lot of souls from these guys. So, I'm already at 20k. I started at like 13k. I feel like I need a better weapon at this point. I don't know where or what. But something better would be nice. Okay, I see the boss area. You let me in or do I have to go way around? Oh, you let me in. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there's a pressure plate right there. Okay, well, oh no. Okay, just keep your calm. It's fine. Just murder these guys. Murder. Wait, there's another pressure plate. Why are there so many pressure plates here? That's so mean. That's so... There's one here and one here. No wonder there was like 8 million skeletons. So is this gonna be Queen Bee? Or is this gonna be another um, mini boss? Or maybe a bigger modded boss. I don't know. What I do know is that I am not ready for this at all. I have no Estus. Maybe I shouldn't even use Estus. Typically when I use Estus, I just get hit again because it takes really long to pop that Estus. Let's get some potions out. All right, swiftness, regen, iron skin. This time I'll actually do endurance. Well, fat. I think that's it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Wah. I expected it a lot, but not this. That is very goofy. But this might actually not be as easy as it looks since I'm doing this melee. Yeah. I should really also equip my cobalt shield. Why king slime? I'm just so confused. I mean, we're gonna get to Queen Bee and all that, but this is kind of awkward. I was ready for really hard boss or something, but um, yeah. We got the ninja stuff, which is, this is not a material, but we did get another stamina vessel, so I guess that's nice. And a slime mount, of course. Yes, very nice. And a chest over here with more King Slime and a gold key. Well, no, 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 no. Ha! Gotcha this time. 
Okay, I'm just gonna yeet, yeet us, delete us through here. Lever. Wonderful. Yes, shortcut. Let's go. Alright, uh, this gate must open from the other side. Yeah. See you guys haven't left. Which is wonderful. It would be kind of nice to actually get to kill a queen bee. I think I could actually make an armor set with that, so... Yeah, I would love that. Um, deadly revolver. Splunka potion. Honeycomb. I could combine it with the panic necklace. Really cool. Eternal crystal. I guess that's what we got from the crystal lizard, right? Uh, material. A mysterious crystal. Looking into it is like peering into the infinite expanse of space. Alright, what can I do with... Huh? Okay, okay, what is this? Let's see. Endurance potion. Permanent endurance potion. That's crazy. Grants a weaker endurance effect, which increases in strength with each non-permanent source of endurance consumed. Total consumed 5. Effect potency is 21%. Does not consume a buff slot. Okay, I mean, I mean, <laughs> that is expensive. Cool though. Very cool. Wait, what? I did this for a life crystal? Really? Well, I guess I have to check up here then. Oh yeah, I have not been here yet. Okay, pressure plates. Gotcha. Whew. Okay. Bathtub, piggy bank, chest. Healing potions, grenades, thorns, mana crystal. Alright. You can feel the heat of magma boiling above you. Before you pull the lever, you make sure you're ready because you know you're going to have to make a mad dash to survive this. Okay. Oh, I go here. Okay, let's play the game. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> That's fun. There's a pressure plate. I will not step on that. Thank you very much. At least not on this one. I think I've beat the lava. Dude, where are you taking me? What is going on? Dude, what is going on? This place is so huge. Okay. Gold? No, go away. I need my gold. Stop it. These mages are so busted. Jesus, but they do drop like life gems and stuff, so I can appreciate that. Like, actually, I want to see what else he drops. Um, yeah, a few things, amongst other things. So what about this? Another golden key. Don't mind if I do. No, please, I just, I just, uh, Jesus, please, <laughs> a little bit of privacy. A gold watch. All right, what do we got here? Grappling hook and a gold crown. A grappling hook, you say? I'll take that, thank you very much. An old droid's home, long since abandoned. Okay, I think there's a bonfire up here, yeah baby. Here we go, live crystal. Everything is very shiny here. So this goes obviously back out. But just want to see where it goes. You have been in the underground jungle for so long. You're feeling disoriented and long for the sun. I wonder where this will lead. To the sun. Alright, lever. As you open the gate, you feel a gust of fresh air. Ah, what's up here? Okay, before I feel that fresh air, I need to know what's up here. Chest with gold, hunter's potion, swiftness, night owl, and another gold key. Would you have a look at that? Okay, so where is my fresh air? I don't see it. This door opens from the other side. Oh! Oh, uh, wait. Looks familiar. We've been here today already. Okay, cool. But of course, we have unfinished business down here. I'm not quitting until I see Queen Bee. A locked gold chest. Good thing I have a lot of keys. Is there another key here, maybe? No. Boom. Okay, Thorn Chakram. That's crazy. But I'll take it. I mean, it's melee. Sort of. The Breaker, again, I could now make that one weapon. Greater Healing Pots, Stinger. I'll leave that, actually. I'll leave that, too. Alright. Pots! 
Yeah! Worth it. I will not leave you behind, silver coins. Don't worry about it. More pots! No, no, leave me in. Yeah! Feels so good. Silver bars, healing potions, battle potion. Treasure magnets. I mean, that's okay. This ledge is too steep to climb over. Turning around, you look high up into the air at the top of the temple ruins and see a chest glimmering in the torchlight. What do you mean I can't chop this? You goober. You don't know me. You don't know me and my double jumps. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely the right way now. Alright, I will just swing my axe and pray. And try to not touch the ground too frequently. Yeah, there's a lizard. Get the lizard! Nice. Got another eternal crystal. Let's go. Whoa. That's a big ass hornet. Alright, I need my diving gear. What are we doing down here? Or what am I looking for? Yeah. Wait. Hold. We're getting closer. Peace candle. Swordfish. Okay, I see the price. Let me in. Uh, more potions. Whatever. Nah. Really? Really? The lever for this gate must be nearby. You prepare yourself and take a deep breath. Well, I guess I will look the lever. This gate was created and sealed shut long ago to protect the temple inhabitants from the nameless and immortal old man. He is now cursed to exist merely as a vessel for the demon known as Skeletron, the first of the dead. But do not pity him. His crimes were far greater than the fate he earned. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, is that my homie that I summoned a long time ago? Nah. <laughs> it is, it is my dwarven guard. How did you get in, dude? Tell me your secrets. What kind of magic powers do you possess? Goddamn Bafram. Bafram? What a guy. The myth, the legend. Bafram. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Where is my lever? That is probably it, right? No? Not a gold key. Harpoon. You're funny. You are a funny mod. Just gonna eat through this as fast as I can because nobody likes underwater pistols. Or anything that has to do with underwater. Um, sure it doesn't look like a trap. A lot of gold keys, huh? Magic scepter. Or aqua scepter. I don't need that, but you could give me... A better melee weapon, but only if that's possible. Hornet staff doesn't exist. Luck potions? All right. Also, there's a way down. Let's check over here first. Oh, there's the lever. Uh, you pull the lever and hear a rumbling above you, as the gate at the edge of the lake opens to reveal the new path. Sweet. I don't see the lever. Oh, over here. I'm a doofus. And what we got in here? Blade of grass? Let's go. Oh man, it's slow. Now hold up. It can't be upgraded to the thorn decapitator. 52 melee damage, slow speed. Creates a spore cloud on top of struck enemies. Honestly? Yeah. Vampire frog staff. Uh, I would like to use summon weapons but they don't exist i am a melee boy and i'll stick to it uh let's drop down here real quick maybe there's a bonfire nearby because i don't want to go through this again wait i'm actually gonna drain the entire lake here let's go gotta stop the water here where are you going oh this is not even a, a dink's way it's just loot i thought this was a new area down here i guess i was wrong um can I loot in peace? Please, thank you. A blizzard. What? Get out! Anyway, a blizzard in a bottle. I'll take it. <laughs> Another ice plate. This one is legendary. All right, let's go back up. And I don't want to swim up. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Bathram, I'm coming. Wait, first we're gonna craft this though, the thorn decapitator. Yeah, like I said, 52 melee damage, slow speed. But it creates a spore cloud on top of struck enemies. Okay, it's quite slow, but huge um, damage increase. I mean, this swings faster, obviously. But yeah, I'm curious about that spore cloud. Back in town, baby. Let's go. And we are through. Wait, 
Where did Bathroom go? He was not waiting for me. Oh, he's here. Hey, buddy. Nothing to report. Yes, bonfire. Finally, it's gonna be time for Queen Bee. Queen Bee, let's do this. Yep. Yep. Oh, what bee armor? Interesting. Queen Bee. I mean, it, Queen Bee shouldn't be too too crazy, but you know, let's still get the basics. And uh, yeah, let's go. No, you get down here. Goober. Yeah, the spore cloud does quite a thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> My advanced techniques, you will never understand them. Okay, time to get out. Time for murder. Uh, goofy, goofy queen bee. Uh, yeah, trash bag, and we just get the usual stuff and a beekeeper. Ah, it's just for Zenith. Boo. There is a brass armor that we can make now. So, let's not waste any more time and do just that. Platinum armor. Here we go. Let's head to my demon altar of trust. Just this one. And let's make the brass armor. A brass helmet. Boom. Brass armor. Boom. And brass greaves. Let's go. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Let's head back to uh, the town so I don't get attacked. And let's see. Brass helmet, 9 defense. Decreases damage dealt by 15%. Hell yeah. Increases life regen by 4. That's huge. Brass armor, 12 defense. Grants immunity to knockback. And the set bonus uh, grants 10% damage reduction plus paladin shield effect, which, well, not really that useful in single player, but whatever. And the Brass Greaves, 11 defense, increases movement speed by 18%. Wait, I thought the downside of this one was I get slower. Wait, that's crazy. Dude, I'm such a f Ooh. tank now. 49 defense versus 40. Okay, I mean, it's 8 more defense. And again, I still have my Iron Skin Potion on. And this. So it's actually 38 defense. That's pretty cool. Finally, a really cool weapon now. I love this weapon. I also got a nice sprite. I really like it. And we got a cool armor. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me derping around. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a sweet day. And stay awesome.